In this problem, we have to find the limit of the sequence and determine if it converges or diverges. So right away, uh, you can look at this and realize that the limit is zero. And the reason you can do that is because in the numerator, we have a log. And in the denominator, we have a polynomial. And as n approaches infinity, the bottom will grow faster than the top. So this should approach zero because polynomials grow faster than logs. And so this fraction will get smaller and smaller and smaller, the bigger that n gets. So the limit as n approaches infinity is zero. So the sequence converges to zero. So the answer would be converges to zero. If you wanted to show work for this one, you actually could, and it wouldn't be too bad. So you would start by taking the limit of the natural log of n to the seventh over 4n. And then what you could do uh, is you could bring the seven down uh, using the properties of logarithms. So you'd get seven times the natural log of n over four n. Um, then you could realize that as n approaches infinity, this has the form infinity over infinity. And because it has that form, you can use something called L'Hopital's rule. So L'Hopital's rule says that whenever you have infinity over infinity, or zero over zero, you can take the derivative of each piece. So let's do that. So the seven hangs out, and the derivative of ln n is 1 over n. So you get 7 times 1 over n. In the denominator, the derivative of 4n is simply 4. Okay, so this is equal to, now we take the limit. This piece here is 0. So you get 7 times 0 over 4. So the whole thing is just 0. And so the answer is the same. However, all of this is really uh, not necessary unless like you're required to show work or something. But most of the time, you know, unless you're doing like a proof-based class, you can just look at this and say, okay, the polynomial grows faster than the log, so this bad boy is going to approach zero. And so because it approaches a number, we say it converges. That's it.